The average person should care about search because it determines how much value they get from the internet. So to, uh, help, search helps your ability to find things, it helps your ability to get to somewhere more quickly, it helps you, your ability to um, find the answer to a question. Uh, uh, the questions can be simple, such as where, what, what restaurant in my neighborhood serves Chinese food, or the questions can be complicated. What's the appropriate way to structure a mortgage contract? Um, Search is very important for answering questions. Um, what's interesting today about um, online search and privacy are the number of firms involved in designing the online environment for the average user. So it's not possible today to just go to one firm or one participant and say, uh, what's happened to privacy? Uh, multiple firms are involved. It's, it's not so easy to get a sense or an overview of the entire market. Search firms by themselves don't determine uh, the conditions of privacy that hold for a, uh, an average user, nor does the, any given site that you go to. It actually involves all the sites you go to. And, and that's, a, that's a pretty complicated situation. Uh, number one, um, search is highly complementary with the infrastructure on which it runs. Um, the infrastructure in the U.S. has advanced at very, very rapid rates. Uh, and uh, during the last decade, as broadband replaced dial-up, search became much more efficient and more valuable because broadband became fa uh, faster and more widely used. We're now reaching a point where that's nearing the end, and there's a big open question uh, about what's going to happen to things like search that run over broadband now that broadband has become widely diffused. I think most people don't appreciate the consequences of what you might call the lack of an undo button. Um, unlike uh, just about any other database any in the offline world, uh, um, things you do become forgotten. They can be burned, they can be torn up, they can be shredded. The internet lacks an undo button, it lacks a shredder. And uh, because it doesn't have a shredder, something you did 10 years ago can come back to haunt you much later, something you do today can come back to haunt you 10 years from now. And one of the things that's very clear is a lot of young people do not appreciate this, that what they're doing today will be with them much longer than they anticipate. Um, uh, really the basic uh, feature of the search market, which is true about uh, uh, all the internet, is it involves multiple parties. One of the most fascinating things about the internet ecosystem as a whole um, is that there are multiple parties involved, such as search firms, who then collect money from advertisers in order to show that advertising to users. There's also e-commerce firms who would like to collect revenue from a user. They show advertising to users, so you go to their site to collect revenue. And there's also broadband firms who collect revenue from a user to get access to the internet, who then have to go to a search site, who then see the advertising. Uh, all of them together have built the system that we all use. And for the most part, over the last decade, that relationship has been cooperative. That's something most people don't appreciate. We got where we got today because the broadband firms were putting up better broadband. That meant users spent more time online. That meant that a search firm was able to sell more advertising. Because the search firm was able to sell more advertising, that attracted more uh, media content. That attracted more users. More users attracted more e-commerce sites. Because more e-commerce sites uh, came online, they 
asked for more advertising from the search firms, and that attracted even more users. And this has been complementary across uh, all the participants for about the last decade. And that looks to continue for at least a couple more years. And there's a big open question about what's going to happen if that goes away. Uh, but that's something many people don't appreciate. We've been in this very, very almost idyllic era of cooperation. Thank you.